Welcome to another video. I'm Dalton. I'm Ryan. And you're watching Two Wild and Crafty Kids. And today we'll be doing Cosmic Oozos. You guys are probably wondering why we haven't made a video in so long, and that's because we got busy with schoolwork. And I joined soccer for the first time, and that was really fun. And I had cross country, and I had a lot of top five finishes. And we both joined drama club and had a play just recently, and that was a blast. Yeah. All right, guys, let's open the box. See what we got inside. All right, we got one packet of black glitter, one packet of calcium chloride, one spoon, one popsicle stick, and one bag of sodium alligate and instructions. So let's get into the instructions. All right. We've read the instructions and now we're gonna start making our base. And I've already put the base powder into a cup. And now we're gonna pour some water into this bowl and we're gonna add a cup of water and then we're gonna slowly mix in the base powder. So let's get to doing that. So we're going to pour our cup of water. Let's go. To this bowl. Now you're going to gradually put the base powder in and start whisking. So some of it. I'm just floating on the top. So right now it's just floating on the top, but we're going to continue mixing it in. And it's stuck so it's to the spoon. Have, it kind of has like a doughy texture in it. It feels like it's like a doughy texture. It got that like slime feel into it now that it's mixed in with the warm water. It's not really mixed it, mixing in to it. It's just like floating and soaking in the water. Our bowl was too small, so we put it in a cup, and now we're starting to whisk it. So it has like a doughy, slimy texture to the um, the powder, and as it's mixing it into our water, and it's not really mixing. It's just kind of staying on the top of the water. So we may have added it a little too fast. So when you're doing this, just add it very slowly and mix it in. And we'll see how it turns out, I guess. All right, we finally got it to mix together and we let it set up for a couple hours. And now we're gonna make the activator. All right guys, we added the glitter into the base and now we're mixing it up into it. And now you got a shiny black glitter in our base of this goo. And now, and after we're done mixing it, we're gonna start making our activator. That's good now. And we're gonna kind of do the same thing we did for the base and put eight ounces of water in. So that's a cup of water. And then put our activator powder in there. So And you start mixing it just like the um just like the uh, base that we did as well. Let's start putting this over. So we got our water. And do we add it all? Yes. And you add all of the activator of the calcium chloride. And you and just gonna take our stick and then stir that up.
we finished mixing. And now what are we gonna do, Dalton? We're gonna dip the Uzo's Maker in the activator to coat the outside of the Uzo's Maker. So let's do that. Let's do it. So I dipped it in and coated the outside. And now we are going to fill it with the ooze, the base liquid. So let's do it. But we don't want to fill it all the way. So you want to have a a, fin a layer on top so that the oozos can come out nicely. And then we're going to dip that into the activator and swirl it around. And you get this nice little sphere. And right now it just loosened up and it just now popped out. Yeah. Alright guys, now that we have it in the Uzo's Maker, it kind of looks like a water balloon. But now we're going to let it sit in the water for a few seconds. But the longer you have it in the water, the harder it gets. Alright, now we're going to do that to a couple more. Yep. So let's do it. I'm just going to scoop some out, put it in there. And there's another one pops right out. It makes a nice little circle and it's a nice little ouzo. You want to see how this one turned out, Dalton? So on the package, it said that we could squeeze them and the goo would come back out. And if we put the goo back into the ouzo's maker, we could make another one out of what's inside this one. And this one does feel exactly like a water balloon. And that's what it looks like. And you'll squeeze it and see if it actually works. And there we go. And there's the goo. It's not as glittery. It, it does feel exactly like, like a water balloon too. It has this outside layer, layer. of glue, which is kind of cool. It has a nice like slime like consistency of it, and it's a nice little squish. It's like you can make it out. You can make it into a slime. And, and now there's this out. little skin, and that's that's cool. All right, let's see if it makes another ooze out of it. And it does, it makes a tiny ooze. A little deformed though, because I don't think it, I don't think the oozos provide enough goo out after you make it to make a good one. I guess if you look at this, it's nothing compared, like, you see got pieces and stuff all, all over. It's not a real sphere. But it's still really cool. Yeah. So, Mariah, what do you think of this kit? I think this is actually really cool and fun. I liked how the Uzos themselves were, like, kind of like a water balloon, which was kind of cool. And then you could squish them and make another one. What did you think? I thought this was an awesome kit because it did have things that it did not provide that you had to provide for yourself. But it provided most of the things you would have needed. And it's a really fun kit. And you can make tons of these and there's a lot of them and like mariah said they're like a water balloon consistency and they're really cool all right guys leave a like and hit subscribe and thank you for watching two wild, wild and crafty, crafty kids. kids bye hey guys <laughs> what's got <laughs> everything cross cut <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another video where we stare into your soul. <laughs>